attention, David Carruthers, a.k.a. the mean Gene Okerlund of the insurance industry. I'm Ryan Smith, and I'm here to crush it in the protege season two. Why do I want to be the protege? Well, ultimately, it would mean that the family business is on the path towards its most profitable and impactful generation in its 98 year history. Here's my backstory. I grew up in Lawton, Oklahoma, watching my grandfather, uncle, my dad run the family business, Smith and Sons Insurance Agency. And I stayed away. I didn't spend much time there. Wasn't really interested in what was going on behind those desks in that stale old office. I didn't pay any attention to the insurance aspect, but I did notice that my dad was always there for my soccer practices and games. He was a business owner and he provided a comfortable life for his kids and wife. Now it's my turn as I take the agency to the next level. I also get to be there for my kid and my wife. So later I got the full college experience when I stepped away from a music scholarship and took advantage of the social opportunities of my college years. Uh, in that time, I found that the University of Central Oklahoma, where I was going to school, they offered a program or a degree in insurance and risk management and thought I could make a run for the family business. So yes, I'm one of those oddballs that chose to get into insurance before my career even started. So. Started as an intern at AAA Insurance. They've got a call center in Oklahoma City. And I was mostly doing data entry at the time, but it led to a full-time job. My first full-time gig in insurance, associate underwriter in the underwriting department, helping agents in Montana and Wyoming with their book roles, transitioning their personalized clients from a couple different carriers to only AAA. Anyway, during my time at UCO studying insurance, it was the risk assessment and treatment and financing. Those were the, the topics that really interested me. Not so much the basics of uh, property and casualty insurance. And that's still true today. I envisioned and dreamed of helping business owners to make small changes to their operations and their systems, which could help them not only strengthen their bottom line, but could save their business and even save their employees' lives. So when a position as insurance analyst opened up at an oil and gas company in Oklahoma City, I jumped at the opportunity and got the gig. Now, David, I don't have to tell you that some of the greatest lessons learned in college are not taught in a classroom. For me, it was learning to hold myself and present myself confidently, to easily meet new people, and to interview well. I didn't meet the minimum GPA requirements for that internship. I didn't meet the minimum years of industry experience for the analyst position, but both of those hiring managers and the risk manager, they saw potential in me. Rule number one is you have to believe in yourself. Anyways, at the oil and gas company, I get to see how the Aons and Lockton's and Price Edwards of the world serviced a middle to large size account from the quarterly claims reviews to the three to four month long submission presentation system and process to just the day-to-day -day servicing and interaction, the responsiveness from those brokers. It was all very, very eye-opening to me. At that point with an infant at home and the rockiness of the oil and gas industry, it was becoming a little too stressful. The family business was there. I knew I could help. I knew I could bring the carrier experience that I had, as well as the commercial lines consumer experience working with those large world-class brokerage firms, I knew I could bring that to the agency to help its clients. I didn't know what I was getting into. 
you can't just bring those type of resources and that level of service to a few hundred small business accounts. It just doesn't work. Am I right or am I right or am I right? 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 For the past three years, I've become heavily involved in the big eye of Oklahoma. I've joined masterminds, I've joined networking referral groups, I've readdressed how we handle inbound leads and our service touch points. I've ramped up our agency's social media and YouTube, hired agency consultants, and of course, had my bouts with shiny object syndrome. Get your ass out from behind that desk today. Quit looking at TPS reports and technology. Go out there into the big bad world and sell some damn insurance. That's how you're going to solve a lot of the problems in your agency. So, like Benny the Jet Rodriguez, I find myself in a pickle. Do I continue to try and scrape revenue off of minimum premium accounts, tripping over the hundreds to pick up the singles? Or do I throw my name in the hat, swing for the fences, and learn to become a cold-blooded killer? To me, there's only one answer. To get to the next level, for our agency, I've got to learn the way of the CBK. So here's the rub. Here's why I want to be the protege. I've read the extra two minutes. I've listened to all the podcasts. I've watched all your videos on YouTube. The amount of content and great value you've given us for free is unbelievable. But I'm missing one piece. It's the accountability factor. Having the exposure to a coach, the exposure to peers in the industry, that's the key to sticking with the business plan. Most of what I know about sales comes from your podcast. I know that instead of going simply off of the hot lists or the carrier's top 10 classes list, that I need to define my ideal client, demonstrate the value that I'm going to bring to them, not the same old shuffling of paperwork that they're used to, and explain how they fund the value they get through purchasing their insurance through my agency. When the prospect starts to wave me off, I'll be like Rowdy Roddy Piper. Just when they think they got the answers, I change the question. I'm coming for the big names of the industry that Andre the Giants and Haystacks Calhouns. Those large firms are intimidating to many, but it's like I tell my five-year-old son all the time. The time to show courage is when fear is present. And like Jake the Snake Roberts would tell us. It's more shameful to deny fear than to run from danger. When the pressure is on, you've got to believe in yourself in the process. Everybody's favorite Georgia Peach, Mr. Josh Gurley, explains it kind of like this. You've got to be able to present the beautifully branded 20-page breakdown of all the coverages and their unique characteristics of the client. But you also have to be able to write it out on one page and explain exactly what they need. Being the protege means that I will have been trained to handle larger accounts and will have proven your point, David, that it's not the person, it's the process that works. It means that I will be a part of an elite group of industry professionals on the cutting edge of innovation and exceeding client expectations. It would mean working towards the position of being able to choose the clients I want to work with, not merely falling on the pressure of the carriers, but to say that before this prospect sits down at my table with the others in my book of business, do they match the type of organization that I'm building? Do they value me? And do they share my values? Like Ray the Crippler Stevens in his own right, I'm going to be the most graceful, 
commercial insurance producer of all time. So there you have it. I'm Ryan Smith, and I'm coming for the protege title belt.